give my thoughts, my opinions from my hotel bathroom. What's going on, rock stars? It is your girl, the leader of the rock stars, Talia Jeanette. Welcome to the channel if you're new. Welcome back if you are a regular rock star. If you are not a rock star already, stop before you get any further into this video. Make sure you subscribe, you like, you comment, and you share the video. So let's just jump right into it. So we are on the tail end of Survivor Series. I know I'm like a week late. I'm sorry. You, you guys know school happens. I, I got offered a new job. So things have just been extremely crazy since Survivor Series. But... I'm here to give my thoughts, my opinions from my hotel bathroom. All right, so we're not even gonna go in order. We're gonna go based on how I have this typed in my phone. So I don't have it typed in the order that it came on, so just bear with me, okay? The Universal Champion Roman Reigns versus the WWE Champion Drew McIntyre. Now you know. Your girl loves her some Drew McIntyre. Like, I had to tell, I told him in person how fine he was. <laughs> um, of course they put Roman over in this match. Do I think Roman needed it? Absolutely not. Roman did not need to win this match at all. And he won with the assistance of his cousin. So that just solidified him as a heel. Roman didn't need to get Roman is so over right now like Roman was gone for about six and a half months and if you haven't watched my last few wrestling videos I will they'll, they'll be floating around my head somewhere Roman is somebody who didn't need this match to put him over if I was booking it Drew would have went over because Drew needs it a little bit more not to take anything away from Drew McIntyre but yeah, Drew could have used that win a little bit more than what Roman did. Um, it was a very good match. It was it was paced very well. Um, a lot of y'all, what makes me upset with a lot of these wrestling groups that I'm in and these Facebook groups that I'm in, I keep forgetting, I think, from the aspect of someone who used to wrestle. I keep forgetting I'm in a group with fans and marks. Someone said, oh, the match, they were moving too slow. Both of these gentlemen are above 6'4", I believe. I believe Drew might be 6'5", 6'6". Roman, I think, is 6'4", 6 6'5". 6 Logically, they didn't need to move no faster than what they were doing. The, match, the, the parts of the match that had the burst of speed, that is where the speed was needed. For the rest of the match, the match was paced very nicely. So some of y'all just need to stop talking and giving your comments because you don't know what you're talking about half the time. Okay. Moving along. Uh, the women's match. Asuka, who was Raw Women's Champion versus Sasha Banks. Now, another bit of bias. Y'all know I love me some Sasha. That match was very impressive for what it was i y'all couldn't tell me carmella wasn't going to come out and attack sasha so i'm glad they let sasha get that win over very clean and it was it wasn't a dull moment like i was very impressed with that entire match um you can tell whoever sasha's been working out and training with like i don't know if she's still coming to new york and training with red or if she's trading down a road, whoever showing her these combinations that she's using, sis is the definition of a hybrid wrestler because she was giving you lucha, she was giving you strong style, she was giving you striker, she was giving you everything you could possibly want out of a wrestler. Um, and then it was towards the end of the match, she did some, I don't know, I don't remember, like, I don't know how you would word it, but she, she caught Asuka and like rolled her up it, it, it was beautiful it, it was beautiful um and I mean we all know Asuka is probably one of the greatest women wrestlers ever so the fact that Sasha kept up with her speaks in volumes um oh match of the night this might be match of the year honestly Smackdown Tag Team Champions Street Profits versus the Royal Tag Team Champions New Day 
I already told y'all I will forever be here for black excellence. I already told y'all New Day was getting nothing out of this match but to put them boys over. And what happened? Kofi and Xavier did what they needed to do and they put them young men over. I don't care. You know, if you want to debate it in the comments, let's do it. Montez Ford has probably the best frog splash in wrestling right now. Both indie and mainstream. He has the best frog splash and he might have the best frog splash in history. No disrespect to Eddie Guerrero, but Montez Ford has the best frog splash. Like, it's ridiculous how the man, if you're watching, he jumps out of the frame of your screen into the lights and then comes back down. That match from beginning to end had no dull moments. The fact that New Day were the heels in this match, but they still got over his faces, amazing. They picked the body part, they attacked Ford's ribs, and they worked it. They worked it, worked it. It wasn't a dull moment. The tags were where it needed to be. That type of match was a high, was like, it was a lot of high speed movement, but you were able to still kind of register everything that was happening. I wasn't mad at it. It was match of the night. Like, we give New Day their flowers while they are still here, folks. Bobby Lashley, who's the, who's the U.S. champion, and Sami Zayn, who was the IC champion, they're making Sami Zayn a joke at this point. I, I really honestly didn't care for that match too much. Um, I think... I, I really didn't sit and really watch the match, but I feel it was an MVP distraction at some point for that match. Um, but... I don't like what they're doing with Sami Zayn because Sami Zayn can actually wrestle and they're making him out to be a huge chicken shit and I don't like it. Um, the Survivor Series 515, the men's team role was AJ Styles, Keith Lee, Sheamus, Braun Strowman, Matt Riddle, team SmackDown was Kevin Owens, Seth Rollins, Baron Corbin, Jey Uso, and Otis. Now, this match opened the show and it was hot garbage. Um, hot garbage in the sense to write. Okay, so Seth Rollins is taking time off because as we all know, Becky Lynch is pregnant. And I feel like her pregnancy, she went through her pregnancy really fast because she, she got big really fast. Um, so Seth Rollins sacrificed himself. To be eliminated first, which again, we could have wrote Seth off way better than that. Um, pretty much, SmackDown got swept. It, it's nothing else to really say. SmackDown got completely swept. Um, Jay Uso was said sole survivor for Team SmackDown. He was the last one, but nobody from Team Raw was eliminated. It. It was just a horrible, it was a horrible match. I, for someone who, you know, this might also just be my biasness again. I'm just not a fan of clusterfuck matches like that. Um, I've been in a Survivor Series match. If you haven't watched it, go here and watch it. Yeah, I'm not a fan of, like, waterfall spots. Like, stuff like that, I'm not really a fan of. Like, if it's not a regular two-on-two, -two, I don't, I don't care for it. Like... Even a three on three is kind of pushing it sometimes, but I'm just not a fan of these multi people matches like this. Um, which leads me to my next point of the women. I'm looking at my phone, guys, just to keep track of where we are. Team Raw for the women's team was Nia Jack, Shayna Baszler, Peyton Royce, Lacey Evans, and Lana versus Team SmackDown, who was Bianca Belair, Liv Morgan, Ruby Wright, Bailey, and Natalia. Now, that match actually went a little bit better than what I thought. The ending, I didn't like. So, Bailey was eliminated first from Team SmackDown, which, I guess, I, I guess, I don't even, I don't even know how to register that. Um, okay, you know, I take it back. 
it wasn't a bad match, but it wasn't a great match. Um, I'm not a fan of Nia Jax. Like, just call it a spade what it is. Nia Jax needs to be back at the Performance Center. She should not be in anybody's ring. I really feel she's only getting a push due to her bloodline. Other than that, she has not done anything as a big woman, as someone who's 5'9", two something, 200 and something pounds, you should be way ahead of what you're doing. I feel we tried the whole her blowing through the women's division and she was injuring everybody. At that point, creative and talent management, all of that should have did something in regards to her injuring everybody. I get very nervous when she's up against these little 5'5 five, five girls like your Sasha Banks, your Ru Ruby Riots, your Liv Morgans. I was really scared for Ruby and Liv at one point. Like, I cringed a few times. Um, again, SmackDown pretty much got swept. Um, Bianca Belair was the sole survivor from SmackDown. And at one point, it came down to, I believe, her versus... Was it Nia Lacey and Lana? Or it might have been Baszler, Jax, and Lana. I, they What messed me up was that they made Lana go stand on the steps like she was five. I don't care who creative is mad at. You don't do shit like that. They had this poor woman standing on the steps. So now we're going to run the whole Lana getting bullied nonsense because she was crying on Twitter a few nights prior to Survivor Series. All right, fine, whatever. Then you had Nia and Bianca on a double count out, and Lana was the sole survivor. Really? That's, that's what you give us? Really? Lana? I don't, I don't understand. It, it makes no sense. I just want it to make sense, but clearly it's not making any sense to anyone. Um... All in all, Survivor Series was not a great pay-per-view. Um, like I said, the match of the night was a tag team champion match. And the Drew and Roman. Um, other than that, the traditional elimination matches were horrible. Um, Sasha and Asuka was cool. Um, they had a, a battle royal for the kickoff that The Miz won. I don't like how they treat Miz either. They out here making Miz look like he a mid-card person when my guy Mike from the real world is top tier. I can't wait for him. I really can't wait for him to take that belt off somebody. Like, it's probably not going to be Roman though because, you know, we Roman is the prodigal child of WWE, so we can't do that. But Miz won the Battle Royal. Um, yeah. And that was really it. Um... And then they did the Undertaker tribute, which I think if you are above the age of, I'm going to go out on a limb and say 25. 25 might be pretty young too. So maybe like 28. If you're above the age of 28 and you didn't feel a way when they did that tribute to the Undertaker, you're not a wrestling fan, bro. Like I was holding back tears. And then they did a, a Paul Barra, um... They flashed his image on the the Titantron on Undertaker better be in Hall of Fame next year. If he's not headlining that, I, I don't know. I don't even know who y'all could possibly put in the Hall of Fame next year besides the Undertaker at this point. But it was it was a beautiful tribute. I, I did appreciate it. Um other than that, yeah, like I said, Survivor Series was not what I thought it was going to be, but yeah, that's what happens when you don't involve NXT in anything. <laughs> but anyway, that is it for my wrestling update. I will probably be back with a War Games update because I need to catch up on NXT because I have no clue what's happening on NXT right now. So thank you guys always for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will catch you in the next one.